Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on Route. Uh, what was it, Route? Mm, I forget, I have to look it up. We took on Route 118, yeah. We also picked up a library, from a library that we planted uh, next to the Berry Master's house. Well, he gave us a couple berries himself, and we did a couple battles against, uh, uh, against bird keepers and the twins, you know, and I think we also got the charcoal from Leverage Town that we, I forgot to pick up when I was there for the first time, and, uh, I think that's about it. We also went to New Mavo, I believe, too. Maybe that was the last last part, but I'm pretty sure we went to New Mavo to turn off the generator. And uh, we end up getting TM24 Thunderbolt from Watson for doing that. He gave us the basement key to enter the place. We had to surf there a little bit. Um, it was next to like Cycling Road, under Cycling Road basically. And yeah, uh, too bad we can't teach, you know, Thunderbolt to any, you know, uh, I can't teach Thunderbolt to any of my Pokemon because none of, none of my Pokemon can learn it. So that kind of stinks. I have Twitch up front, it's level 32. It evolves at level 32, but I'm chasing up to like always level 35. Or whenever it wins, uh, Psychic, which is level 34. So yeah, maybe when it levels up to level 34, it'll say, hey, do you want, uh, Splink is trying to learn Psychic, you know, do you want to move to, and replace it with Psychic? And then an order evolve probably, if it does that then. But I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Okay, so the Mimic Circle is formed by people like, who like to Mimic. A battle starts the instant we meet. That's, okay, so there's like these four bug catchers here that are called like the part of the Mimic Circle. A miracle, was it Mimic or Miracle Circle? I, I totally just made you misread that. Anyways, let's just shockwave on this ninja ass. Okay, it's gonna raise its attack sharply. We gotta knock this thing out quick. Every impulse after every turn, the ninja ass has a speed boost ability. Or has a possibility to have a speed boost as its ability. And it'll raise its speed. So we gotta knock this thing out quick. Yeah, okay, let's go for a side beam. Oh man, shockwave would have been great because shockwave would have still hit the um, ninja ass in this, in this situation. But good thing, Cybeam, you know, is awesome and it goes and we hit it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, twitching level 33, awesome. Cool, we defeated Bugcatcher Kent, I believe. I surrender. Thanks for 416 Pocket Dollars. It's okay, I won't hurt you. Twitch is evolving. Nope, I don't want Twitch to evolve. I don't want Twitch to evolve. I'm mashing B right now. I'm mashing B. There we go. Oh, Twitch stop evolving. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I did that. It's all my fault. I'm doing this on purpose. We're a super, we're a super pal. Nice. Jeez. Here's another. M okay, yeah, you don't know who I am, do you? But also, I don't know you, so we'll battle. Yeah, let's get to know each other. Why not? I think in the bottom left corner of your screen, you saw that, like, black hair. I think that's, like, a. I think that's a, uh, Pug Maniac. So that's pretty cool. Let's go for a side beam on this thing. Please don't have any bug type moves, your vol beat, or have you pronounce your name. <laughs> about one third, it's gonna use moonlight though. Oh man, it stinks. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to use a confuser on it, so maybe it'll hit itself with confusion. The quick attack didn't do too much on switch, so that's good. It's confused where it hits, awesome, it's confused now. Let's go for the side boom now. Maybe we can get like a crit crit or something, that'd be awesome. This full B is level 26 and male. I forgot, I think the ninja we just faced against the last bug catcher was a, it was male and it had, it was level 27 I believe. So let's go find our side beam, this should knock it out. Let's see if I'm right, yes, we do knock it out, nice. Yeah, nice, okay, cool. Illume, Illumu, Illumu, is what it, Illumu is it, I can't even pronounce the name, well. Confuse it again, okay, just like on the Volbeat. Elamuse. 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 That's my best attempt at it. Elamuse. Probably still pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> Let's go for this side beam. Let's see if this Elamuse is. Okay, it's gonna hit self confusion. Awesome. That's good for us. That is good for us. Okay, one more side beam should do it. We go first, actually, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. The Illumise, the Illumise, 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 I still, oh my gosh, I'm so tongue twisted right now. I can't even say it right. This is Bug, we defeated Bugcatcher Greg, you're pretty strong, thanks. Thanks for 416 Poké Dollars too. I think the last Bugcatcher gave me the same exact amount of money when we beat him in battle. See, we finally meet my book Pokemon, we'll keep your company. I think he has like a beautiful eye and a dust ox. This is a Bug Maniac. Yeah, look at his eyes. <laughs> bug Maniac Donald would like the battle. 
So he has a Wurmple. Cool. Let's go for the side beam on this thing. It's level 25 male, cool. When I KO, awesome. Nice. Silcoon, okay, we'll stay in. Oh, I think he has a one post Silcoon and Beautify, if I were to guess. Let's see the nice side beam. Silcoon's level 25 and male. Goes down one hit, awesome. Okay, and now you have a Beautify. I'm gonna actually tell his Twitch to use Shockwave, because Beautify is half flying type, so it'll be super effective. So let's see, it hits, awesome. This Beautify is level 25 and male. That's good to know. Oh, I almost went to kill, awesome. Stun spoil, okay. Not the worst you could have done. Okay. Let's go for the side beam. Morning sun. Are you kidding me? You're gonna heal yourself? Ah, oh, jeez. Paralyzed, okay, whatever. We'll actually just heal paralysis then. Please do not use morning sun again, but I probably just jinxed it there. Okay, so let's use a full heal. I think I'm out of paralysis heals anyway. Last time I checked. Twitch became healthy, okay, cool. Let's get his gust, okay, that's fine. Let's go for the shockwave. I'm hoping the shockwave can faint it. It looks like it will, but we'll see. And let's see, it does, nice. Okay, cool. Twitch gained uh, 862 experience points, that's awesome. Twitch is in level 34. Twitch is trying to win psychic, oh yeah, awesome. Do we move to for psychic? Yes. Let's get rid of, um, let's get rid of Confuse Ray. Yeah, we don't want to confuse her anymore. I don't think we do. One, two, and poof. A, a Twitch figure got confused her and Twitch joins Psychic. Nice. So now I'm going to let Twitch evolve. It's done that in battle, so that's awesome. Player defeated. We defeated Bug Catcher Donald. Or, not Bug, Bug Maniac Donald, I should say. I wish we'd never met. Oh man, don't be so salty. Thanks for the 1500 dollars, man. Twitch is evolving, yay. I'm actually going to let Twitch evolve this time. So it's gonna evolve into Grumpig, which is a great Pokemon. I've used it in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. It's a really good Pokemon. I'm using it now in this playthrough of Pokemon Ruby. My redo of it. Yeah. Your Twitch evolved into Grumpig, yeah. Awesome. So with that, Grumpig can stay at the bottom of the list actually now. Um let's go to Smokey though, because there's like bugs Fine. There's like bug types around you all the time, so let's go for our fire type, you know? Go to our trusty fire type. No, I don't think there's anything over there. I think in these little patches where like you can see yourself a little bit when you come out, they might have hidden items or something. I'm not sure. You can use your item finder to see, but I don't really want to take the time to do that. Okay, if you step forward, we step forward. Um, if you turn right, we turn too. Oh, mim oh they do kind of mimic our movements, I guess. That's kind of cool. If that makes sense. I'm pretty sure they mimic our movements, so I'm just probably going to go crazy. Okay, so let's use uh, Ember on this thing, on this Wimple. And it's level 25 male, it goes down one hit, awesome. So yeah, I think you have a Wimple, a Dust Ox, and a Cascoon if I were to guess. Okay, so Cascoon's next, okay, yeah. Cool, this Cascoon is level 25 in male, just like the Wimple. Before it, I should say. There we go, nice. One hit KO. It's super effective. And then you have a Dust Ox, okay, I'm gonna use Flamethrower on this Dust Ox. I don't think I've used overheat yet, actually. Okay, flamethrower is gonna. It's protected itself with protect, so the flamethrower won't do a thing. Okay, protect again, but it failed. Good. That way, the flamethrower can hit. This dust axe is level 25 in male. And it goes down. Nice. There we go, nice. Party defeated Bug Maniac Taylor. Okay, cool. But if you were in. I lose. <laughs> Thanks for 1500 Poké Dollars. That's what, that's what the last bug, hit, the bug Maniac gave me for prize money. The amount is 1500 Poké Dollars. Here is a, um, okay, we finally met. Oh, are we trying to avoid me? I, I was actually trying to battle you and stuff. So, yeah. Here's another Bug Catcher. I think this is the third of the fourth Bug Catcher in here. Bug Catcher Doug sent out Nakata. Okay. Let's go for the Ember. Yes, False Swipe on Smokey. That's fine. Or oh, just 3 HP. This Nakata's male on level 26, and it's super, that was super effective, and the Nakata goes down. And you have, a Ninka, you have another Nakata, okay cool, you have two Nakatas. That's kinda cool. This one's also level 26 and a male. Nice. There we go, nice, I like it. This might be level 32, awesome. 
Wait, we defeated Buckcatcher Doug. I think Buckcatcher Doug was in Pokemon Fire Red in the Radiant Forest. Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Because in Generation 1, they didn't have names. Specifically, they just had a Bugcatcher. Wants to battle or something like that. Or wants to fight. Whoop, that was a great match. Thanks, man. Thanks for 160 Poké Dollars, too. Another amount of money that, that's equal to, like, what, what others have given me on this route. So, let's switch, um, Smokey with, uh, I guess, Screamo. Let's Smokey with, like, uh, Geico. So, someone, oh yeah, um, let's see, I have all, all my Pokemon are fully healed, are uh, fully, fully evolved except for Grovile, actually, my Geico. Because Screamo doesn't evolve, I'm sure it evolved into Tentacruel, it's just Final Evolution. Uh, you know, Geico is already Grovile, so, and it's not, it's Final Evolution, it's a Sceptile. Um, Fighter is a full, fully grown, because Hawaiian is, it's Final Evolution of the Makuhita, uh, family. Uh, Torkoal doesn't evolve, and then, Grumpig just evolved in this part, actually. So yeah, Geico is the only one who hasn't reached the final evolutionary stage. Okay. This is a hyper potion very worth picking up. I think this is the last turn I want to battle in this area, even though there might be one or two more, I, I don't know. We're the Mimicsicle. We mimic what you do. Okay. Well, so far that hasn't stopped me from progressing through this little area with super tall grass. Okay, the Sirsket, yeah, no, it's a water bug type, so let's use air cutter on this thing. See how much it does, this thing's level 27 and it's male. And we take it out one hit, awesome, or Screamer takes it out one hit, nice. And yeah, we defeated Bug Catcher, Bug Maniac Brent, whoopsie, I lost. Thanks for 3,240 experience points, uh, from Pocket Hours. I just realized, I remember Screamo, I put, uh, I think I put the Emma Coin on and Screamo like two parts ago, if not the last part. And it doubled the prize money because Screamo made an appearance in the battle, so that's awesome. We could actually step here to reach another train and get an item, I think. So yeah. So here's a fisherman. He spoke to me, so you want to challenge me? Sure, I'll try out the Pokemon I caught while surfing. Okay, what is that Pokemon? We'll have to see. Oh, yeah, well, it's probably a Feebas, if I remember. Yeah, it's a Monkey Magikarp and Feebas, pretty much. Yeah, okay. Cool. Let's go for the Air Cutter, I guess. This Magikarp's level 30, so definitely always tackle. And also knows Flail, apparently, too. Flail. Let's go for the Swift Attack. There we go, nice. Tentacle, okay, let's switch to, uh... Let's switch to Geico. Okay, so I assume we Pokemon after this. Do my Pokemon after this a tentacle actually. Let's go for the Leaf Blade. It's level 21. It's gonna be neutrally effective. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for the quick attack. Nice, okay. The tentacle goes down. V Bass will stay in. With the Geico. Let's go for the Leaf Blade. This is Fight Bass is level 27. So yeah, this is a pretty form of a. Uh, Milotic, actually. Which I think you can find Milotic on this route, but it's like, you have to, you have to fish, and there's, it can only find, be found, Phoebus can only be found in like six patches of water, so you have to check like, every single patch of water, which is very tedious. But it's very worth it. You know, Milotic in the end, when it was from Phoebus into Milotic, it's a really good Pokemon. Yeah, Gekko, yeah, it's an level 32, awesome. Let's go to Fighter then. Fighter can use a super effective move like Arm Thrust on this thing because it's half Dark type and fighting is good against Dark type Pokemon. So fighting type moves is good against fighting is good against uh, Dark type Pokemon, as I said. Let's go for the Arm Thrust. This Carvana is level 24 in male, and it goes down. Nice, but Rough Skin, yeah, I know your ability Rough Skin does a little bit of damage after you faint or whatever after get hits by physical move. Yeah. Okay. What if you Fisherman Eugene? Cool. I don't have a clue about what it takes to win. Uh, we got 1,928 pocket dollars, so that's pretty cool. I think this is the place we can actually use secret power again, or free secret base. Yeah. Let's, uh, put, s let's switch Skarmory and, uh, Geico. And actually, we want to switch, uh, dang it, I made it a summary. Okay, so we want to switch Friday with, s uh, Geico, I guess, yeah. Here's an item over here. It is a zinc. It's uh, another vitamin. I don't know what it raises though. Let's we'll see by its description. Uh, it raises the special defense of a Pokemon. Nice. Let's use it on uh, Screamo, I guess. 
a special defense was raised. Because, you know, fire type moves are special attack, and fire type moves are super effective against Screaming because it's half steel. So, yeah. Nice. And now I can surf over here. That's pretty cool. I think that if you got the aqua bike, you can actually do a puzzle coming up here. I want to get off the water. Jeez, okay, get out of the water. Okay, um, I thought you, I thought, I taught you fly, I thought you fly by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging on them somehow, but it turns out there's an HM move called fly. I wish I'd known that before, about, I wish I'd known about that a long time ago. Oh man, I think if you go in this house, there's like a bunch of Pokemon in it or something. Yeah, Wingo is okay, yeah. We're not gonna even talk to that person, I just wanna show off the house for a second. <laughs> Yeah, so over here is the acro bike thing, but I don't have a the acro bike with me, which kind of stinks. I should have put two and two together, saying I am need the acro bike for this point in the game. But yeah, the mock bike right now. But I'm only missing out on an item. Hopefully, it's not a really cool item that I regret not picking up. You know, it's not it's on the wall for a secret base. There's a little waterfall back there too. Nice. Here's some citrus berries, two citrus berries to be exact. It looks like um two Lepa berries that heal uh citrus berry heals up to like 30 HP of a Pokemon, and then Lepa berries heal 10 PP of one Pokemon's moves. So that's pretty cool. Of one move on one Pokemon, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll just skip out. On, oh, I should put I should put another Pell on. Jeez, I don't want to I don't want to run into any other po well, Pokemon. We have 23 Super Pells after this. Cool. I don't want to talk to you, but uh, this is a Pokemon Ranger. I think she has Grass type Pokemon. Oh, look at you! For some, for someone on an adventure, you're traveling awfully light. Well, I can. I can fit a bike in my backpack for some reason. For some, somehow, I guess you could say. Gloom, okay, fighter. Yeah. Let's go for a uh, facade. Okay, it does about half. A little above half. Sun's to boil, okay. So, um, facade's power will be doubled now that, uh, it has, it's, that, um, fighter's paralyzed. That's awesome. That's good for us. It's more a good thing than a bad thing. Asset's gonna lower fighter's defense, though. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Facade hits. Awesome. The gloom goes down. That gloom was female. I think it was level 27, honestly. Here's a Roselia. Again, they gave out a really good experience. This was level 27 and female. He has Magic Leaf on us, or on Fighter. Interesting. Let's go. Facade hits. Awesome. And it takes that one hit. Awesome. Nice. We defeated by Catcher Caroline. Uh, accidents happen when you're not prepared. That's actually kind of true. Thanks for 1,296 Poké Dollars. I'm going to use a uh, Super Potion on fighter but not a uh, paralyzed hit because I can increase facade and it'll be doubled the power and stuff. Cool. So over here is another bug, uh, another Pokemon Ranger but this one's, this guy's a male Pokemon Ranger. So let's battle him. Uh, who who has the, known about the technique of survi for survival? Pokemon Rangers, that's who. Good for you. Do you want a medal or something? I'm just kidding. Okay. This is uh, Pokemon Ranger Jackson. He has a Breloom. Nice. Let's go for the Facade. Let's get his head, but I'm fit fighter, apparently. Cool. Facade hits, though. So this Breloom is level 28 in male, and it goes down. Awesome. There we go. Fighter's on level 32. Awesome. We defeated Pokemon Ranger Jackson. That didn't have enough Pokemon know-how. Next to the 1,344 Poké Dollars, though. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to Screamo, I guess. And let's go through this tall grass. And here's a bug, here's a bird keeper, I guess, yeah. I'll show you the true potential of me and my bird Pokemon. Okay, we'll see about that. Okay, bird keeper Phil would like to battle, of course. He has a tail. Nice. Good for you. Let's go for the air cutter. This tail is level 25 in male, and it goes down one hit. Awesome. Okay, there we go. Nice. A wingo next. Okay, I'll use the same air cutter. We use another air cutter move. So let's go with the air cutter. There we go. Yeah, there we go. 20k. Awesome. Swallow. Okay. The form, the ball former tail a little bit stronger than a tail on a wingle. So yeah, 
So I was gonna use double team and try to make it harder for Screamer to hit it, so that's kinda stinks for us. I mean, if she's gonna do that, then we'll use Swift. Because Swift never misses in this situation. So, ha, huh, joke's on this guy for trying to use uh, something that makes it harder for the other opponents to hit it. He didn't He didn't understand that, uh, oh, okay, yeah, you're trying to use focus energy to raise your chance of getting critical hit. Let's go for the peck next. Um, but he didn't think about uh, how like Swift moves like Swift and Shockwave where he never miss in most situations. So, yeah. Okay, so player defeat. Okay, we defeated a uh, Birdkeeper Phil. Nice. I didn't meet your dog, I'm sorry. Thanks for 1600 Poké Dollars. I think there's a left and right path, actually. You have to go. Th if you go this way and you have the mock bike, you can actually take a little shortcut up here. So I'll actually show you how to go up the slope. You just have to pick up a little speed. Like that, yeah. Here's another Birdkeeper. I'll actually take him on, yeah, right now. I'll go back around and battle the other trainer on the other side, probably, because I know there's a ninja boy. Because that little rec that little brown rectangle you see on the left, right part of your screen is actually a ninja boy trying to hide with the environment. Like, the first time I played this game, I got I got really scared because I didn't I, that caught me off guard. I thought it was it looked a camouflage to me apparently at the time. But I'm skipping through all your dialogues, but sorry. Let's battle. Yeah. So this is Birdkeeper Hugh. He has one Pokemon to swallow. Cool. I'm going to suspect that this one is going to use double team, so, uh, or, no, it's going to use wing attack, okay. Yeah, well, it's trying to, it'll probably try to use double team, so I'm just going to go faint it with swift. It may take, like, three swifts, but it'll be worth it. It's going to use quick attack, of course it is. Yeah. Let's get another swift. One more swift should do it. And it's going to use quick attack again. Not going to do much on Screamo, because Screamo is a steel type Pokemon and resists normal type moves. So, yeah. There we go, Scream is not level 32, awesome. Well, we defeated Birdkeeper Hugh. Nice. Down and out. Thanks for the 1728 Pokedars, though. Okay, so now Scream is level 32. Is Friday level 32? I, you know, the status condition box it. So yeah, it is level 32. So the only Pokemon that's level 32, still level 31, is uh, Metroid. So that's pretty cool. Okay, here is uh, a ninja boy, so, and there's an I'm over there, as you saw, maybe saw, kind of went by fast. If you were not on your guard, you're in some pain. You're in for some pain, I guess is what you're trying to say. This is a ninja boy, his name is Takase, Takashi, Takashi, let's go with that, yeah. So this is Nikata, uh, yeah, it's ground types, half the ground types, so let's go for the bull beam, it's going to be super effective. I could use surf, but I want to see if a bull beam can take it down. And it does, it's super effective, awesome. Nice. Coughing, okay. We'll stay in for me with Metroid. This coughing is level 25 in male. Let's go for the surf attack on this thing. Let's see how much it does. It, when it kills, it's awesome. And you have a Ninjask. Okay, cool. So this Ninjask is level 25 in male. So let's go for the Ice Beam because it's going to be super effective, I think. I'm pretty sure. Because it's half flying type. Yeah, cool, it's super effective, awesome, I was right. Nice. Now, Metro does level 32, awesome. I'm gonna keep Metro to the front, though. You're surprisingly good, thanks, man. Thanks for 300 pocket dollars. Is there anything over there? No, I guess not. Um, I'm gonna hop off my bike for right now, because it's hard to control. <laughs> I don't know if I have off, but I think it may have, but uh, I'll just wing it and uh, try to go through this, this route. I'm getting trying to get to the weather industry basically. Oh, there my repel off. Okay, so is there another item in here? Let's, let's actually put another repel on just to see. So yeah, let's see. Is there an item or something? Maybe in this. I guess not. Maybe in these little uh, patches that where there's no grass or areas where there's no grass. Well, there's a little bit of grass, but not just a tall grass. I guess not. Okay, we can't even run in these big cornfield looking things. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Team Mac is blocking this bridge so we can't advance really. Look at dude, look at duty, it's presently boring. Hey you, please don't go near the Western Institute. Well, since you said that, I'm gonna go and defy you and just uh, go to the Water Institute. We're standing in the lookout here. Hey you, stay away from the Wizard Institute, it's not safe. We'll see about that. Is there anything behind the Weather Institute? By the way, the Legend Institute is this right here. Weather Institute, yay. So yeah, um... Let's, uh, 
I can go to the bed right here and heal our Pokemon, which is nice. Uh, yeah, let's take a rest. Awesome, okay, so let's see here. Uh, do we have any, do we have to, store, do we have to store any items that, you know, we don't really need right now? Let's go with the sort of Elix, I guess. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I guess I will, uh, do I want to end the part right here? I guess I'll end the part right here. So yeah, so that's been that in my Pokemon Ruby Redo like the like the guy part. Next part will take on the rest of the Weather Institute. We're already in it at the beginning. So and the Weather Institute only has like maybe four Team Rocket Grunts and then uh, Team Admin Courtney, which we haven't met yet. We haven't met her yet, but she's an admin admin for Team Magma. So yeah, so if you're playing Ruby, if you're playing Sapphire version, it's obviously Team Aqua that's gonna be here, and then you'll meet Team Aqua uh, admin uh, Shelly, I believe, because you already met Team Magma. Admin Matt at um Meteor Falls probably if you're playing Sapphire and then if you're playing Emerald Pokemon uh, if you're playing Emerald then uh Team Aqua will be here actually and you'll face Shelly as the Team Admin person for Team Aqua so yeah the versions do kind of differ so yeah so this is Janko again I would like to thank you again goodbye and hope to see you guys next time my Pokemon Movie Redo Walkthrough Guide. <laughs>